We are crossing the border from Northern Ireland to the Republic of Ireland. Welcome to Muff. It's our first stop in County Donegal as we explore the North Atlantic Way. So let's start the show. Ireland, it's where I call home. And it's great to be back. Paul and I are here for the next few episodes to take you on a tour of the north of Ireland. Please join us. Where are we now, Marcus? Well, we just crossed the border at the Foyle Bridge and we are in Muff. And we are going to be exploring all this coastal area of County Donegal, ending up at Mallon Head, which is the most northerly point in Ireland. <laughs> Welcome to Moville, and look, the first thing that we see is this lovely little book house. And I guess it's like a lending library. It doesn't really say, but what a great idea. Look at this. There's books by Ross Camp, Don French. Wow, yeah. I love the smell of freshly cut grass and on this beautiful, really warm summer's day, they are cutting the grass here in Moville. And just look at the sea and the sky. It's absolutely beautiful. I really like the look of these buildings. These are really nice, um, color palettes. I like the yellow and blue ones especially. If you are in need of any dental services, there's always the Movo Dental Surgery right here. Well, we've got this lovely little harbor in Moville. So from Moville in County Donegal, behind us in that direction, we are looking back at the North Derry and North Antrim coasts. So on a clear day, you could probably see over as far as Port Stewart and Port Rush. This is a very interesting monument and it's got a seagull perched on the top and I'm sure it will fly off the closer we get. 
Yep. There's a sign on here, but it doesn't say what the monument actually is. It's just about removing fishing gear. So it's some sort of wooden spike. And you can tell that there's been fishing just taking place. There's lots of shellfish here. Oh, there's still, and crabs. Oh, they're still moving. Look at this pole, look. They're still alive. This crab over here was moving a moment ago. Some of them are still alive. I think these containers are used to house lobsters. Ah, right. Because I remember seeing fishermen throw these bits down and then the lobsters would be caught in these mesh thingies. And down here, and if we had smelly vision, you would be able to smell the fish down there, but there are more shellfish, probably crabs, in those bags over there. Now let's see more though. Okay, so right here we have this bed and breakfast. Next door we have Susie's bar. We have Vincent's. So over Across the road is the rainbow flag, the Irish flag, and I think that might be the Czech flag, maybe? Czechia? Don't write in if it's not right. So we have the opticians, Healthwise, Hallian Club. So maybe we need to cross over now. Over here we have Donald McCulley. I don't know what that says. I think that says McGuire's. The, the Hallion Club. So yeah, this is a pretty nice um, farmer's market right in front of me. I think that they're open daily. So yeah, I think this is a nice little wee town. And now, I think it's time we get going. There's a little town centre in Moville and I've just popped into the newsagents to buy a copy of Ireland's Own. Now I can get this in Uxbridge but why not buy it while I'm actually here in Ireland? Follow these steps to subscribe. Our next stop is Green Castle in North East Inishowen. Did you hear those explosions? Yes. Do you know what that is? Well, we are just, oh, there's another one right now. We are just about a mile, I don't know, maybe a mile and a half away from McGilligan and there is a ferry that takes you from here in Greencastle over to McGilligan in County Derry and at McGilligan Point where there's an absolutely fabulous beach there's also an MOD, a Ministry of Defence uh, training ground oh. where they um, practice using explosives. There's also McGilligan Prison over there as well. There is this lovely little walkway along the sea, I guess. And I should have brought my cat out of the car because the sun is beating down. And as we're filming this, it's around about 12 o'clock. So this is the <laughs> midday sun. Boats have been making the crossing between Greencastle and McGilligan for centuries as part of normal maritime trade and as part of the military control of the area by those in control of Northburg Castle. What? Pardon? 
Oh, you want to subscribe? It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. Okay, we are at Farron's Bar, Ireland's most northerly bar. Indeed it is. Now I'm driving, so I am going to have to have a soft drink, but Paul is going to have a Guinness. Guinness. This is my half pint of Guinness because it's going to be a long journey back down. I even got the t-shirt. Thank you for watching our show today. Please continue to like, comment and subscribe. Head, Ireland's most northerly mainland point, is famous for its rugged coastal scenery and lovely beaches. The area boasts spectacular scenery and is rich in history and heritage, and is of high geological and environmental importance. I like the sound of this. At the bench of hope it says, come, sit down and rest a while. I think I just will. It's quite steep and rocky around here, and uh, I guess it's good exercise. <laughs> and with the fresh air blowing and the blue skies, it makes for a wonderful scene indeed. Stepping stones. Oh my God. Better than the actual rocks, I think. Look, Marcus, look at this magnificent view. Yes, it's incredible. And we are heading up to the tower at Malin Head, and that will be the most northerly point in Ireland. Look at that over there, painted onto the ground. It says ERA. 
and I think that is a throwback from the Second World War to signify to the German bombers that this was neutral territory and not part of the United Kingdom. It's very, very fresh and breezy. Here's an interesting fact. The small rocky island of Ishnerhull, north of Malinhead, is the oldest place in Ireland. The rocks are nearly 1.8 billion years old. Oh look, Paul. Is this the start or the finish? Maybe this is the start and the finish line. Well, it really is the finish line for this episode. I think it is. I think that we've shown them what Melonhead is like. And I would like to remind you that if you haven't subscribed already, we would appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button with your likes and comments right now. We'll see you next time. Bye, -bye. Bye for now. Because I think, because I think my head's white. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because every time I, I have to make sure that there's an elastic bit. Yeah. <laughs> but mm, yeah, that's quite good. Uh, Look, a Donegal sheep. Well, I think it's just fitting that we actually say our proper goodbye by wearing our melon head you cap. You do anyway. Yeah. Did you get it? Fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. The Wild Atlantic Way, melon head. Ireland's most northerly point. I would have to concur with that.